Hi, and welcome to this course on crime mapping. My name is Matt Ashby, and I'm a lecturer in crime science here at the Jill Dando Institute at University College London. Um, and my research focuses on how crime clusters in space and in time. And to do that research, I use lots of crime maps and other spatial analysis techniques. And the main focus of what I do is thinking about how police can use that knowledge about how crime clusters to try to prevent crime and to respond to it. Before um, I was at UCL, I was a police officer and I've also worked in intelligence analysis for the police. In this course, we're going to learn how to use maps and spatial analysis to better understand why crime happens at particular places. And understanding the geography of crime is important, both for trying to prevent crime and for, for better responding to it in other ways. A simple example of that would be if you know where crime is most likely to happen, then you can deploy police officers to that location at the right time to, to be available to, to respond. Or you can work with partners at a particular location to try to prevent crime before it happens. This is a practical course. We'll learn crime mapping skills by applying them to real world problems and we'll use real crime and policing data from around the world to do it. Most of our analysis is going to be done in a programming language called R. And the reason we're going to use R is because it's specialised for analysing data and it has very good mapping capabilities. R also has a huge community of support online, which means you'll be able to continue developing your skills even after this course finishes. The course is structured as a series of interactive tutorials, which include exercises to help you test your understanding. You can work your way through the tutorials at your own pace. I really hope you enjoy this course. It's a topic that I'm really interested in, and I hope that you find it interesting too. If you've got any feedback on the course, I'd really like to hear from you, so please do get in touch. I'm very keen to keep working to improve uh, this course and your feedback really helps with that. So I hope you enjoy this and if you've got any questions or any uh, queries, please do get in touch.